Now, your eyewitness weather forecast. Name WeatherAid's most accurate forecast since 2008. Well, good morning. We are eventually going to end up back near 60 this afternoon. It will be a nice and mild October day, but as you're leaving this morning, well, it's pretty chilly. Temperatures are down in the 30s, and there'll be some frost on the car in some spots as well. Williamsport, we're down to 31. Pottsville, 33. Mount Pocono, 33. And Sealands Grove, we're coming in right around 31. Still have that freeze warning that's in effect for all the counties that are shaded in that darker shade of blue. So if you have any plants still outside that maybe you forgot about last night, quickly you'll want to go out, cover those, bring them in because that freeze warning is in effect for those sensitive plants and those crops as we could see some damage to those because the temperature has dropped so low. But as far as any rain is concerned or any flurries or any snow showers, there's none of that this morning. And there's not going to be anything through the entire day today. It will stay completely dry through this afternoon. Now the temperature is going to end up getting right back near 60 and this is going to keep us right on par with average for this time of year. The average is right around 60 so in a comparison factor to the last couple of days it is going to be very nice, very comfortable. We'll have a decent amount of sunshine, nowhere near as windy. Now there will be spots in the northern tier and the higher elevations that end up staying really in the mid 50s. So the average is right around 60. I just said it. We're right near that. The sun will rise at 719. It will set at just around 616 going through this evening. The overnight low average is right around 40. Now, the last couple of nights, we've been well below that, but we're going to get back above that a little bit later on tonight. And going into the next couple of nights, that will slowly get just a little bit better. So high school football, it is a football Friday by kickoff at 7 o'clock. We're at 56 under a mostly clear sky, and that temperature eventually drops to the lower 50s by the final whistle. So a little on the cool side, probably not a bad idea to bring that jacket. Now let's talk about the weekend. Showers are expected to return tomorrow as this cold front comes through and we get some moisture to move in just ahead of that front. It will be scattered rain showers, so we'll find some decent dry time, but the bigger story is what happens behind this front. As the front continues to push through, this is what we have in store for Sunday. A reinforced shot of cold air. The temperature will drop back into the 40s, and not only that, but as that colder air comes back in, the wind will really start to pick up on Sunday. In some spots, we'll even get to see a snow shower Saturday night and into early in the day on Sunday. So here's what we're expecting for the weekend. 58 tomorrow, there will be those scattered rain showers by Sunday. We'll have a tough time breaking the cloud cover through the first half of the afternoon. It is windy and chilly other than that. It'll actually feel like it's in the 30s at times through Sunday. 60 for the high today in the eyewitness weather forecast, at least near it. Mostly sunny, not quite as cool, and it's also less windy. 46 for the overnight low tonight. It's more cloud cover, and there'll also be a rain shower sneaking in, especially the later we go through tonight. And we've talked about the weekend. Monday, we'll have clouds and sun at 52. Tuesday, 52. Little more cloud cover along with an isolated shower. Wednesday and Thursday, there's plenty of sunshine to go around 52 and 54. And don't forget the Eyewitness Weather app. You can always use that to download it to your phones and tablets and use the interactive radar. You can also check out the hourly forecast. And the forecast is always available for you at pahomepage.com. I'm going to sound like such a weather geek here, which you probably love. But I love when you show the changes in the jet stream like that yeah. because it just it makes sense to me. You yeah. know, like why we're feeling colder all of a sudden or, and then warmer again. You just you know? see that deep. Purple and blue, yeah. and that's just sort of telling you it's going to be cold and yeah. it will really be cold Sunday. It's like, okay, it's not just me, it actually is cold. Yeah. It makes sense. Scientifically, now, it is colder. To be fair, sometimes it's you, Kelly. Sometimes it or is. Sometimes. Or my dog, too. My yes. dog was giving me attitude yesterday on our walk. She's like, really? It's too cold it's for this. because she's sassy. Yeah, yeah well, <laughs> she's like me. I'm sure, guess, a lot right? of people feel in that way. Yes, absolutely. We'll be right back with more eyewitness news after this break.